Hi, gorgeous ghoulies. Today I have a an unboxing of a Sabbath box that I just received and I want, it's for Ostara, so I want to use it. So I need to do the unboxing for you. If you want to see what I got, stick around. All right, y'all. This is something new that I'm wanting to start doing, and it's for witchcraft. I am a witch, have been for as long as I could, for a very, very long time. I say as long as I can remember. I can remember when I wasn't. But the fact is, I think I always was. It's just relationships made me be not who I was. And you come to a point in your life, at least you should, where you really don't care what other people think. If they say things, if they don't like that you follow a certain spiritual path. And that's where I've been for quite a while. I am who I am. And I am not Wiccan, so don't... Everybody needs to understand. Being pagan doesn't mean you're Wiccan. And being... A witch doesn't mean you're automatically Wiccan, and it's just, there's that label thing again where people get confused on a lot of things, and Wiccan, Wicca has become very dominant as a religion, and that's fine. I actually had roots starting out whenever I was really a baby witch, <laughs> I don't know, whenever I was really putting myself into learning more and understanding more about the craft. I went, I attended um, some classes that were Wiccan based and there's absolutely nothing wrong with being Wiccan. I just am not. So I just want to make that clear that I don't follow a read. I don't follow the three fold law like that. It's, it's just not what I do. I do incorporate some things. I follow the wheel of the year, of course, and that's very much Wiccan. So, the box I have today is a Sabbath box. It is not a subscription box. I do have some subscription boxes on the way that once they arrive, I will do videos, unboxings. I don't know which month they're for or what. So, when I get them, I will let you know when I do the video, obviously. Duh. So, this one is, okay, Arachne's Web, and it's for Ostara, and... Is this the size of box? Is this a priority mail? Is it a large one or a medium? It's a medium flat rate. There you go. There's the size. And I believe I paid 50 something for it. I will have that down in the details. She actually messaged me after I placed the order and said I got her, I purchased the last Ostara box. So, she wanted to get it out to me quickly. So, it arrived like that. And, yes. So, excellent customer service, communication, everything. But I don't... Well, I take that back. I do know what's in this box. If it's the same as everybody else's. But, I had to see. So, you know, I get an idea of what I was purchasing. So I cheated a little bit, but you know, this is the first time putting it in my own words, in my hands, looking at it, touching it. And to me, that's just very exciting. So let me open it up. I don't have my knife in here, the glam ghoul knife. And that's the whole reason I had that knife was to open boxes and then I left it in my room, in the tiki room. That's my room where I watch TV and kill time and do whatever. So, here's what we have on the top. This is how it looks. All right. On the very top, we have Arachne's Web business card. This is an Etsy store. I don't know if she has a store that is, let's see. She does have arachnesweb.net. 
and on Etsy. It says Arachne's Web 9. So there's that. This will have information about everything that is in it. And it's very nice how they printed on some parchment type paper or the color of parchment paper at least. Okay. And then we have, ooh, are these Book of Shadows pages? If so, they are just really pretty. The egg and the hair. Okay, here's this one. Pretty that is. My Book of Shadows is, I don't know, like this by this. I do have a bigger one that is on, the, the inside is completely, it was a sketchbook with craft paper. So I would probably, if I was putting them somewhere, it would be in that one because this will be too big for mine. There's the egg in the hair. And then the other one is the rose. Pretty rose, the bottom has, on this one, the egg in the hair has that. And they are matching. And if you put them like this, they would fit in a book like that. And the trim would go all the way around the pattern, the border. So yeah, that's really nice. We have some yellow tissue paper. And then we're getting into it. This is what we're looking at, y'all. I don't know how well y'all can see that, and I'm sorry. Ah! I'm not the best at this. Give me time, I'll work on it. We have the Star Temple Oracle, which is what it tells us it's from. That's the Oracle, and that is a very beautiful backing. And we have, is that Taijita, Taijeta? I don't know how to say it, don't know how to pronounce it. Taijeta, Taijita, I don't know, Taijita might be what it is. The mystic. Magic. I weave my magic and surrender to the universe. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so, yes. <gasps> I love it. Yes. And that image there, she's very powerful. That looks like power, you know? And it's funny because I joke around with my husband that I know karate and, or martial arts anyway, and I go through the house and go, hi -ya! I'm a dork. I'm sorry. Not really. Okay, these tell about the stones that are in the box. So I'll wait until I get to those. We have honeysuckle incense. I love honeysuckle. It's so invasive, though. It kind of takes over, but I really want to put some in the backyard, and my neighbors can all just hate me for it, I suppose, because I remember being young, and you find it wild. I don't know how many people have actually done this, but I um, lived in the country quite often with my grandmother and grandfather, grandma and grandpa. And you get the, you pull the flower off and pull the bottom and you suck the honey out of it. Oh, oh, that smells. And they captured the scent that does smell like honeysuckle. That is nice. Let me see what are they like. There's quite a few, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, looks like 16. Does it say? No. All right. We're moving on. I'm trying, I'm just talking like crazy. I'm so excited about getting this box. Here we have self love and acceptance, a ritual. Look at this. It is pink. So pretty. Such a girly thing and tied up nicely. It's like these boxes, it's like, especially when they do the extras, when they take the time to put them in, the, it's like each little piece is like just a new experience. It's like getting just that special gift when the company, the, the people who put them together, whoever it is, takes the time to really make you feel special by doing this. Here is the ritual information. We have a pink chime candle. Let me get this stuff here. There is a pink, I love this, pink 
chime holder, even though I really feel like chime candles are a little bit small for them, but that's pretty, very pretty. Then we have a rose quartz bracelet, tumbled pieces, and then there is an oil in here. Let me get the oil out of its little package. We have anointing oil. It is for self-love and acceptance, and it's in a, let me see here, it has also been, this is nice, okay? It was put in a separate plastic bag, and then it is also sealed, so you don't have to worry about it leaking. That is really nice. I appreciate that so much. Let's see what it smells like. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's a note there I'm trying to sp What is that note? I'll think of it in a minute. It's there, but it smells really good. This is really, really nice. So we have this little ritual kit here. And I love, it's the be new beginnings right now. We have new beginnings for this time of the year. And it's so nice to reset yourself, show the self-love, show yourself some love, take care of yourself, realign yourself, because it's a new beginning. Every year is a new beginning. And you can do this. It said, you know, I discuss my mental health problems all the time. I'm very open about them because we have to talk about it if we want to get away from the stigma. People have to be open and willing to discuss and talk about the issues. And the world, you, you can't always be happy all the time. It's just, it's really impossible. And if you are, you're lying to yourself because... With the light comes the dark, and you have to have that balance. If you didn't have the dark, how would you appreciate the light? For real. Okay, this came in also a plastic bag. This is, oh, look. So pretty. Ostara Sacred Space Clearing Spray. Oh, nice. And you have this. And shake it up. Yep, the oil's in it, and it also has... Let me see, I can't tell what all's in there, but gemstones, quartz, looks like. I can't be for sure if it's rose quartz. I'm pretty sure, probably is, since that seems to be a theme, the rose. Let's see. Oh, that's very pretty. Let me see what it smells like. Let's open it up and see what it smells like. Mm. Mm. Oh my, it smells magical. Both the anointing oil and this spray, Sacred Space Spray, have the same notes. I can smell them. I don't know what they are, but it's very nice. Very nice. What else do we have in here? Oop, we have another pink bag. This will be a gemstone, feels like. And I hope I can print it. Sometimes I mispronounce things, so if I am mispronouncing it, don't come at me. Just inform me because it's so rude. You know, people, not everybody can. Oh, oh, oh I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I did say that on there. It's a moonstone, which is so weird. I was looking at moonstone pendulums. Look at how beautiful this one is. Moonstone for a moon child. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And that was actually on one of the little papers here. <coughs> Here's information on it if you want to pause and read that. Try not to shake too much, but I shake. It's just the way it is. Probably after three or four cups of coffee, that's probably the problem. I always say, let's drink coffee and then try to paint or something. All right, what's next? Next up, we have this. Nicely wrapped in the same yellow tissue paper. 
and it is, uh oh, oh, it is a huge one ounce bag of red roses dried for ritual. Isn't that so, I mean, one whole ounce. Wow. I do have a lot of herbs already, but I mean, come on now. You use them, you're going to need more. Oh, it's so nice. Mm. Oh, so pretty. You see, there's a couple of little buds down in here. They're so pretty. I don't know if you see the little bud there. So pretty. One full ounce. What else we got in here? Oh, we have a green bag. It's green. for the new earth, for the trees that are blooming, and pinks for the flowers that are blooming. For the solstice coming up. We have a stand and another. Oh, this egg is beautiful. Wow, look at this. There is a slight, see the layers there, so pretty. And a little stand for it. The egg for the hair and the egg. And this is, I cannot say this name. And I don't, this here's got a very blue stone. So I'm kind of, I don't know. Well, there is blue in it. But this one is very blue. How do you say this word? Chalcedony? Chalcedony? I don't know. Somebody please tell me how to say it. I, I've seen it. I know what it is. I just don't know how to say it. So, yes. Native American Indians believed it to be sac a sacred stone used in the spiritual ceremonies of the tribe. Nice. Ugh. Nice, nice, nice. This is really pretty. Yes, that's really nice. It's so pretty. Oh, can't wait for Richard. Whoa. All right, next item. All right. Anything is packaged in bubble wrap really well. This looks to be the candle. Ostara 100% soy candle, essential oil, scented cotton wick. And it's the same notes same notes as the spray and the anointing oil and it's got some glitters on top some shimmer like some mica powders I'm guessing i don't think it's actually glitter yeah it's a mica powder I got all over my finger oh it's so pretty mm, it smells so good so new and refreshing and i wish i could I know what the note is that I'm smelling. I just can't. All right. Is this the last thing? I think I'm at the last thing. Go around. Yep. Okay. Centering and grounding for magic. That's what they have on here. This box. What is this about? Eight by eight? Yeah, it looks to be about eight by eight. That's my guess. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I remember this from other people opening it, and this is just beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Here's the back. <laughs> now look at this tree of life. With the Celtic knots on the bottom there. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my goodness, this is divine. I love the tree of life. Anything as above, so below, above, below. You see, it's still just the same. It branches out and just in different realms, different mediums. Everything exists in dark and light. You cannot have fluffy bunnies all the time without the big bad wolf. It just, it, it doesn't work in nature. 
And like I said, if you don't have the bad, how do you know that you're enjoying the good? Everybody would just be in a state of, hmm, the emotions wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter if you had emotions because you wouldn't know to be happy or sad. You wouldn't know, which some people, when you're really sad, and trust me, I know this, you don't want to be sad. You don't want to feel bad when it comes to those depths of depression. But in just the general, basic, uh, basic, what is the word I'm looking for? Basic way, basic level, on a basic level. Not depths of depression or super highs, but it's just the basic middle ground. There's good and bad. It's going to be there. If you're a witch, you know exactly what I'm saying. Even if you're not a witch, I'm sure you understand that. That some people are convinced by society that you have to be happy all the time. If you're not happy, something's wrong with you. And honestly, I am truly blessed. I have a roof over my head. A husband that takes care of me is good to me. My children are wonderful. I have these amazing animals, uh, fur babies, and I have a yard. So many people don't have what I have even. And so I try to keep that in perspective. When I'm feeling sad, I know I'm blessed. I have a chemical imbalance in my brain that won't allow me to accept it sometimes, but I know. I know it in my heart. So when I... The down part, I try to take it and use it to explore why those negative feelings are there when I'm sad. Like, use it as your own therapy session. I don't know if I'm making any sense, and I'm probably rambling, and I'm sorry if I am. But yes, witchcraft, I would work, I work in the shadows a lot. There's just you can't have the light without the dark watch see i've been sitting here in the light it's going to get dark it's just the cycle it's just a whole big cycle that we go through if we had all the sun everything would die so and if we only had the moon we wouldn't have a lot of things we have because there's not light you know i know i'm saying things that are just totally like duh but anyway this is absolutely gorgeous and let me pull out the card again so I can show you. Where's the card at? Where's the card? Her business card. Oh, here we go. Check it out. The next box, I don't know when she'll have it open. Um, if I, when I'm putting the links up, if it, I find it on her site somewhere, then I will let you know in the details when the next box is available. Missy's trying to get into my box, so that's why I'm trying to stop her so she doesn't pull everything down. Stop, baby. Oh, don't you talk back to me. Yep, just like a child. So, anyway, the paper here has about Ostara, and then it describes the spray, the can, it describes everything. It was included in the box. Goes on to the next page. And then there's the rest. So I do recommend that this is the first box I've received from this company, but this is all very magical, very inspiring. I have the stuff to do the rituals myself already. I can pull out of my herb cabinet, which if anybody wants to see that stuff someday, maybe I'll take you on a tour of my altar room, my spiritual work room, whatever you want to call it. I do have those things, but it's also nice. This way you get everything together and it's like gifting yourself this wonderful little present, something to make you feel good that you can also use to make you feel better. <laughs> I mean, spiritual work is very, very important in my opinion. You have to be willing to sacrifice yourself, take the time out of your busy schedule that is only busy because you make it that busy and take some time like this here is for self-love and just do something for you. 
So I'm going to do more of these boxes. As I said before, I'm going to wrap this video up because I see that we're pushing 25 minutes here. But it is a very nice box, and I will have some more unboxings coming up. I think I have the Midnight Muse box I ordered by Sugar Muses. And I have another one. Oh, it's a crystal one. So that's coming up. So, oh, and I have another one from a local company that's literally, you know, just south of me that is their largest size box, which is quite expensive, but I'm going to see what's in it, and we're going to check it out, but they have different levels, and I'll tell you all about it when that box comes in, and oh, there goes my normie, squirrel, yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm out of here right now, I have a couple more videos to film today, and then I will get everything posted within this You'll know when it's up. Why am I telling you? I'm telling you like y'all are sitting here in the house. This is going to be so many days. Anyway, I'm rambling and I apologize. And I hope everybody's doing well, whether it's night or day, wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying your night, enjoying your day, enjoying your week in general. And everything is good right now. But just remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. And don't let anyone ever take away your shine. I'll talk to y'all later.